Yo, 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 welcome to the show, everybody. It's me, Ben, and welcome back to a brand new video. If you remember last year, we did a video similar to this, uh, and by one video, I mean like we did five. So I'm actually gonna do five again. The topics are different this time. Basically what we're doing is I'm gonna go through over the next couple of days, some of my absolute favorite K-pop related things from this year with you. Today's category is in fact 10 K-pop bops from 2020 that powered me up. I'm not doing none of that ranking thing anymore because last time around y'all got dumb butt hurt about it. So we're just not going to do that. This time we're just going to talk about 10 of my top whatever in different categories. So stay tuned over the next couple of days to see what categories I also decide to cover. But in the meantime, um, today we're basically talking the majority of these are title tracks or at least songs that were promoted. Um, that's kind of the main sort of shtick of the video. That's kind of the point. So hopefully that makes sense. Leave a like on the video if you enjoy the list and be sure to drop a comment below and let me know, um, first of all, if you agree with me or not, or two, if you would change my list at all. You let me know what your top 10 bops from 2020 that powered you up are. Cause it's a discussion at the end of the day. You know, we're not here to just, you know, I, I am here to just give you my opinions cause that's what I like to do. It's part of the reason I made a YouTube channel in the first place. I like voicing my opinions. Um, but I definitely want to hear what y'all have to say as well. Now, what I won't accept is people getting in the comments and getting ticked for no reason. We can have differing opinions here and still enjoy the company, right? Right? And like I said, in, in no particular order, I'm not ranking these. I'm just giving them out in the order that I have them listed. First up that I have listed is Luna, So What? An absolute bop indeed. Um, and to be honest, and it's gonna be the case of this for the majority of these, it doesn't even feel like that was this year. I feel like I've been listening to So What? for ages. Shout out to the Luna girls, cause they always know how to make me feel good. That's for sure. Next up, I've got The Boys Reveal. And let me tell you, this song is an absolute queen. A queen of a song. And I've been getting more into The Boys over the last, even just like a couple of weeks as I'm recording this video, had an opportunity to watch a couple videos on our monthly uh, month end Patreon live stream that we do over on Twitch. Um, and there were a couple of different videos th that were the boys related and I really enjoyed watching those. So I think I'm really gonna try to get, I, I think I'm really gonna try to finally sit down and really get to know those guys. But the whole point I'm getting at is reveal an absolute fire tune. My third one on my list, and let's be real, a lot of y'all saw this one coming, especially if you follow me on Twitter, um, is Pentagon. I still don't know how to pronounce the word, to be honest. Basket is how I've been pronouncing it, but obviously the one that they performed on Road to Kingdom and then did the little performance video for. It's one of the only videos um, where I've been reacting and I actually cry in the reaction. It's one of the only times, thankfully. I've almost happy cried multiple times, but I don't know how many times, I was just having a really rough day. A lot of my friends make fun of me for that one. And that's fine, I kind of deserved it. But yeah, I think that's really the only one where I actually cry, at least like that openly. I was sobbing. On to the next one, we've got Winner Hold. And the thing is, um, Winner is a group that I enjoy. I like a lot of their music, but I don't really know those guys personally yet. You know what I mean? Um, when I say know them personally, I'm talking about um, I don't, the difference between like being one of my old groups and being a group that I just really enjoy is basically how much time I spend watching content and scrolling through Instagram posts and Twitter stuff, um, things of that nature. But this song, Hold, is an absolute bop and every time it comes on my shuffle or I seek it out to play it, um, I immediately get this rush of serotonin because it's an incredible song absolutely my favorite song from them period not just from this year on to my next one um you already knew it was gonna happen we gotta talk about idol dumdy dumdy now here's the thing some nevies are gonna get in my comments and be like what do you mean oh my god isn't on your list you're gonna do dumdy dumdy instead of oh my god yeah i am and you shouldn't really have a problem with that because that's my opinion oh my god is an incredible song love it to pieces but at the end of the day it's not even my favorite idol title track Really, Dumby Dumby isn't either. That's still Latata, because Latata is one of the best debuts of all time, and we can argue about that in the comments if you'd like. Yeah, I put Dumby Dumby on my list here because even today, you know, granted, I do live in Florida, so it's not, it doesn't ever really get that cold down here in Tampa, but let's be real. Still listening to Dumby Dumby today makes me feel like I'm back in the middle of June, July, August, and it feels good. I don't know about y'all, but, um, I have a major, I think the same way that I have a little bit of seasonal issues when it comes to winter and the, the shorter days, 
When I'm out in the sun and it's hot and it's like 100 degrees, that gives me so much energy and I feel the energy like that through a song like Dumpty Dumpty. So that's one of the reasons it's on my list, but also because let's be real, Idol is my original alt group. Only artist that I have the albums displayed on my shelf. You already know I've got the little KDA pillow over here too. Um, they're my girls. I love them very much. And of course they were gonna make my list. You already knew that though. On to the next one. One of my favorite debuts this whole year, and also just one of the groups that I love very much. We gotta talk about Treasure Boy. Now a lot of Treasure Makers, um, some of my own friends included, weren't that big of a fan of Boy, and that's fine. People are entitled to think whatever they want, allowed to feel whatever they want. Me personally, um, I really, really, really loved it. And it wasn't just like it was a fire music video. The song itself is something I can play at any time and immediately be happy and immediately feel a ton of energy. Like I can go run through a brick wall or something. So I already know I had to put it on my list. On to the next one. I don't even know what number is this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the list. Like I said, we're not ranking. I'm just keep making sure that I listed 10 and not more than that, is Dreamcatcher's Boca. Now, Dreamcatcher, um, you shouldn't be surprised if you see Dreamcatcher on one of my lists later this week. So like I said, be sure to stay tuned for that because Dreamcatcher absolutely owned this entire year um, in many different ways. But Boca is just, that intro of that song comes on and I immediately feel like, it doesn't matter how tired I am, how sleep deprived I am, potentially how hungover I am, um, I can always, when I hear that intro, immediately just energy shoots straight up. And whatever I'm doing, I can do it 10 times faster, 10 times more efficient. Um, and that's the dream catcher effect. Ooh, baby, I've been wanting to talk about this for a while. And again, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll probably already know that I was gonna talk about this, but we have to talk about Cravity Flame. Flame, flame, flame. This one, this one, I think, no, yeah. I, I originally had the idea um, to do the videos differently this year, probably about a month and a half ago. So like earlier on in November, I was listening to Flame in the car and I was like, you know what? I don't want to do just title tracks. I want to talk about like slightly more vague, um, what's the word? Slightly more vague categories so that people don't get pissed at me in the comments, but also so that I can rope more things into it. Um, and while Cravity had a great debut, Flame, literally makes me feel like I could crank out 100 push-ups and not even be tired at the end. Now, I haven't tried that, and I don't plan on trying that, but we all have that kind of song that when it comes on, you just feel like you can do anything. That is this song for me. If you'd listen to this song at anything less than full volume, it's a sin. I said that, I think, at the end. Oh, I definitely said that last year about one song, and I don't remember which one it was. But I mean, I mean what I say. This song is incredible. Had to be on my list for this year. On to the next one. Uh, Miss Chunga is showing up on the playlist here, the little the little ten song playlist we're making with play. Now, um, a lot. Well, the thing is, Chunga had what three different pre-releases this year, technically. Um, so she's we're waiting on that album to come out, I believe, in January. Hopefully, she is recovering well um, from the situation. Um, and yeah, man, I had to put Flame on here. I mean, I just talked about Flame. Had to put Play on here just because it's another one of these songs where, uh, the whole point of this, this sort of little list is I'm talking about songs that power me up. And when I listen to Play, it feels like a mental reset, like a musical reset for me. Because I, I feel like I can put a lot of these songs, even those are the ones that I've listed earlier today into little subcategories and how they make me feel. Play is one of those songs that I don't even feel like, as far as, um, trying to compare some of Chang'a's own music, it feels so different. And obviously the Changmo feature on it was fire too, shout out to him. Um, so yeah, I had to put play on my playlist. I wouldn't be surprised if it's on a lot of y'alls as well. Although I have a lot of friends that say that they prefer one or two of the other releases from this year from Chang'a, but um, play is my favorite. Alrighty, and last, but certainly not least, I just realized I think the majority of these were actually in order of release uh, at least in some cases, but now I'm definitely throwing that off with Blackpink. How you like that? Had to throw my girls on there one time. You already know how it is. Um, and I do prefer How You Like That over all of the other ones, at least that got music videos. Um, the album in general was phenomenal, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the song. Um, and How You Like That is again, one of those songs that when it comes on, I immediately have all this energy. Um, and part of that is due to um, some of those certain Jisoo lines. You already know how it is but mainly the vocals on that one. I really love that song a lot. So I had to put it on my list. But um, 
Yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are my 10 K-pop bops from 2020 that powered me up. And like I said, there's obviously, I can't just list all 1 million of the songs that I listened to this year and, you know, say that. But um, those are 10 of my absolute favorites from this year. So let me know in the comments below if any of those made your list. Um, for those of y'all that might be um, interested, a couple of these groups do actually appear on other lists of mine coming up later this week. I'm obviously not going to spoil that, although I did low-key say that about Dreamcatcher, didn't I? Um, so, you know, stay tuned. I'll catch y'all again tomorrow. I've been recording for 12 minutes. Goodness gracious, I'm going to have to cut this video down. Look, I didn't mean for it to go this long. I thought I was only going to be recording for like five minutes, but here we are. Um, thank you for watching. This year's been garbage, but the music has been phenomenal. I think we can all agree on that. Um, I'll catch y'all back here again tomorrow. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you the theme, but you already know, same time, same place tomorrow. Catch you then. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about my list. If you hate it, if you love it. Um, and also, let me know your list as well. Give me, in the comments, 10 K-pop bops from 2020 that powered you up. Make you feel like you can do anything. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Until then, love y'all very much. And peace. Goodbye.